community. Val's not feeling good this morning. We don't know what it is. She has this earache that's a persistent earache. It comes and goes. Both ears, but it's mainly this ear, which is the earache, the ear that I had the ear infection in when I was back in New York. Mm -hmm. And it just <coughs> tends to hurt every once in a while. And then my throat on this side, I get this gland is all swollen. <coughs> I get this cough and I get a headache and I just feel miserable. So, Val is down for the day. So, uh, yeah, so we're having a pretty bad day. Last night when we got home, we turned the air conditioner on and the compressor blew. Pretty sure it's a compressor. And so, it's in the 90s today, I think. And it's in the 80s inside so far. So, I'm going to open up the air conditioner or the... Uh, unit outside and see what I can do. Last time we had it serviced, the guy said that it was something we could replace ourselves. Yes, if I remember correctly, um, and if it's the same issue, there's a cylinder you can buy and replace yourself. All right, so I'm kind of hoping it's that because we heard it do something out here. And the only thing besides the fan and the uh, um, the metal parts that cool the stuff is that cylinder. So that's the only thing I can think it is. Nothing's leaking, so. Yeah. That's what I get to do today. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully I can get it working today because we can't afford to get it serviced. And, um, yeah, that's terrible. It's, heat wave hasn't, is not over yet. But luckily with me right now, not feeling good, I'm cold. Really? Yeah, so I'm not cold right now. I'm comfortable, but I got a little fan blowing on me, and then I got my blankets. I'm in a pair of pants and a T-shirt instead of shorts and a tank top. Oh, I'm sweating. So, but when I get, when I'm not feeling good, I get cold. When I'm emotional, I get cold, and I'm in the middle of both right now so all right so this is my air conditioning unit i don't know who put it in i don't think it was put in professionally it's whoever put it in knew what he was doing but he did a really sloppy job of it so he put it in probably one of the worst places to put a air conditioner right next to the back door right next to it so you could hear this thing in the house it's really awful it should be on the other side of this wall. There aren't any windows, and you could actually use the backyard without the air conditioner just completely blazing. It's very noisy. It's probably an older unit. It's, it's a carrier. So I need to tear this down. I need to pull the fan off. So, and see, they said something about a cylinder, and I think it's a compressor, basically. I'm gonna take a look at it, see how easy it is to replace. And if it's easy to replace and, re and if easy to find it, I'll try and do it today. Otherwise, uh, I'll have to figure out how to get it. Try to avoid paying for a uh, air conditioning service since it's hot California. It's probably cost a real fortune to do it. All right, so the first thing I need to do is to power this thing down because I definitely don't want to get a shock off of this thing. It's, it runs on a 220 volt. Here it is. I've got a, a double 50. So, I got some tools out, and I'm uh, first thing I need to do is take the, the fan off. So we've had this uh, serviced before, and uh, I wasn't here when it was serviced, but Val said that they replaced the cylinder thing, and... He said that 
if it happens again, you can replace this cylinder thing by yourself. Yeah. And it didn't come from inside, it came from here. Okay, so what was wrong with it last time? Same thing? I think so. It just stopped cooling. It stopped cooling. All right, so I'm gonna pull that, and maybe I'll just take pictures of it and take it with me, because I don't like to take wires off. Alrighty, good afternoon. So, uh, may have identified the problem with the air conditioner. Might not have. I am not a air conditioner specialist. Apparently you can get tired degrees in figuring that stuff out. Because uh, I remember hiring them when I was uh, uh, working for the pharmaceutical company. This uh, air conditioning was, is a big issue. And uh, they, used, they get a lot of money, those guys. So, but... The guy who worked on it before said that it was this capacitor that that was the problem and that they go out and you can replace it yourself. So it's just kind of cool for an air conditioning guy to say. So um, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. My first stop I guess is going to be Home Depot try to figure out to see if they have such a thing. They should, you know, they have other air conditioning things and um, if they don't have it then gonna have to try to figure out who does have such a thing. Maybe I can get that information at uh, Home Depot. And Val is uh, not feeling well again, so she wants her uh, wonton soup. She loves that stuff when she's not feeling well. So I'll pick some of that up for her, and uh, that's, that's it for today's trip. And hopefully we'll have air conditioning when I get home. That. And this is what I found. The coolest thing I've seen here so far is a horse. Okay gang, it's a little after 7. I've been um, banging away at this air conditioner and I have an idea what it is. Funny thing is Val actually figured it out. We think it's this um, capacitor and it's a dual capacitor which means half of it, it it'll run both the fan and the pump and that's what I figure is the problem because uh, nothing's leaking and um, so I'm going to replace this now, I went running all over the place today looking for it and um, r ran into nothing but problems over it because um, uh, nobody carries it and uh, none of the normal people that I would normally go to. I'm not an air conditioner person, so when I got home I looked up an HVAC, which is a heating, ventilation, and uh, air conditioning specialist. And there's a place here in Corona that was selling me the part, but by the time I figured out who it was, the, it was already closed. So I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. I will replace the capacitor. If it works, and it only will cost me maximum $15 and some gasoline. If that doesn't work, then it means calling in a, a specialist. And it's not cool enough yet, I think, to say, well, let's give up on your conditioner for the rest of the summer. So... Uh, so that's actually it for today. Val has not been uh, feeling very well and uh, after she helped me with the air conditioner she went right to bed and I'm not going to wake her up. And so um, hope you enjoyed this and I'm sorry we didn't get to the uh, uh, shout outs today but um, yeah she's not feeling very well and uh, without her there's no shout outs. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, uh, don't forget to share it with your friends. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.